What do landscape, wildlife, portrait, and wedding photographers all have in common? We all have to deal with the dreaded digital noise. Am I right? Only if there was a simple way to get rid of it once and for all. Unfortunately, it's not that easy, which means you need editing software to remove it. But which one? Well, sometimes your editing software leaves some noise behind and other times if it's too aggressive your images end up not being as sharp as you hoped this means you have to resharpen the image which can lead to more digital noise and digital artifacts and around and around we go on the crazy editing train no worries i'm here to show you the solution let's dive into lightroom and see what typically happens when trying to remove digital noise so I'm gonna be using Lightroom just for demonstration purposes. Any software with basic noise removal tools will give the same horrible results. The noise reduction section in Lightroom includes two tools for removing digital noise, luminance and color, which means you have two types of noise to remove. So luminance noise is related to the amount of light in your image it doesn't impact the hue of the affected pixels, only the brightness. And you're gonna see this type of noise as gray specks in your images. Color noise, on the other hand, has a distinct pattern of colors that appear as color specks, like reds and blues. Now, if you're wondering where digital noise comes from, check out the video tutorial in the description to discover more about it. All right, so for this particular image, you can see that I shot this at ISO 5000 and we have a lot of color noise as well as luminance noise. Now the luminance noise is kind of getting lost right now in that color noise, but once I fix the color noise, it will show the luminance noise. Now of the two, the color is the least destructive and the easiest to fix because it's non-destructive. It's basically taking those red colored pixels and desaturating them. So if I slide my color slider here to the right, to right around 25, you're going to notice that the noise is gone. Now we can see the luminous noise, but if we take that color slider and go all the way to the right, it's not really affecting the image anymore like luminance will. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Now, as I slide it to the right, the luminance noise begins to diminish, but the further to the right I go, the more destructive it becomes. And that's because what it's doing is it's blurring that noise together and then it begins to smooth out all that detail and you end up losing the details in the feathers or whatever the detail is in your image. All right, so we can see that the luminance noise is still dominant even with the current setting. So if I go all the way to the right, I can get rid of it, but look how smooth that hummingbird is now compared to before. So we can see all kinds of detail in the feathers in the before image, but it's all gone since I pushed the luminance adjustment too far in the after image here. So if I go to 50, it's going to retain some of that detail or I can use my contrast slider to try and bring that back. But that's going to introduce more digital noise. So this is not the solution for removing digital noise. Now, as far as the ISO setting, if you're shooting at ISO 1600 or 800 or lower, you still have that luminance noise in your image, especially if you're increasing the shadows in your images, you're gonna end up introducing more digital noise that way as well. So even at ISO 400, I will use the technique I'm about to show you so you can get this result right here. So check this out. All the digital noise is gone and we still have all the details in the feathers. So how did I do that? Well, before I show you, I have a question for you. Do you want to create the best quality images possible? If so, you have to use the proper software in order to do it. Now, I'm not committed 100% to Lightroom. I'm willing to use other software that will allow me to achieve my creative vision. So I have another app here that I'm going to use to remove the digital noise. And let's go ahead and open up that hummingbird file and boom 
all that noise is gone and the detail has remained. How cool is that? I love it. Now, I do find that the artificial intelligence built into this particular app is a little bit aggressive sometimes. So what I like to do is I like to drop the recommendation of the AI and I will lower that to get better results. Now, if you wanna try out this software yourself for free with your own images, that's the best way to decide if this software is going to be worthwhile for you. So check out the link in the description below to get the free 30-day trial, and then check out this video tutorial right here to learn how to fix your out-of-focus images quickly and easily.